Hello everyone. Welcome to task 27 of week 6. Uh, we are trying to cover for loops in this particular week. The next task is to find sum and average of the numbers entered by the user. Okay. So basically what this program uh, is going to uh, use is the user is going to enter uh, some numbers and those uh, those numbers has to be accepted by your program and then these numbers should be summed up and then uh, an average has to be taken okay so just to show you how the program works okay so the user uh, would enter how many number of elements they want to uh, find the sum of right so let's say uh, the user enters four then you have to run the scanf command four times to get the input from the user and once you get the input you have to add add it and find the average of it right so it's pretty simple we will uh, try to uh, solve the problem okay so let's take a uh, start with let's say uh, we want to get the values from the user okay so first of all we have to request the user how many number of elements there uh, they want to enter right so let's say int let's call it elements or uh, elements okay let it uh, let us write it in full and then we have to uh, this these are the elements then let us say uh, we want a, a variable for the to store the number okay and uh, uh, then we also want to find the sum and the average okay so uh, let's let us do one thing uh, let the uh, numbers be in uh, float okay so let the numbers be in float okay so let the number we can accept float then let the sum be there and then the average okay so we have three four variables right now this will tell you how many elements there are going to be then we are going to have a place to store the numbers then to uh, find out the sum and then to find out the uh, average right now what we're going to do is since uh, we don't we are not going to use arrays over here in this particular program so we don't have uh, many locations to store the uh, numbers that the user is going to enter right so what we are going to do is we are going to store it in only one place that is in num okay and we can only store one number at a time right so if you uh, if you are going to store only one number at a time so you are going to add the number at the same time so, so that your sum is also progressively being created right otherwise what will happen is the num value will the previous num value will get erased with the new value so then at the end the uh, the summation is not going to be possible right so what we are going to do as soon as we get the num value we are going to add it inside the sum value okay so for that reason always remember whenever you want to do anything with sum summation you have to always initialize it with zero okay and whenever it uh, it is uh, like in case of factorial where uh, where you, where you have to start with the multiplication you should start with one okay okay so my sum has been initialized to zero let's begin now so the first step uh, as you must have seen in the all the previous tasks we will tell the user what is this program about right so you will say sum and average finder okay then after that i will ask the user how many elements are there right so scanf since it is elements is integer so i will do scanf d and ampersand e elements right so that is done and now we have to tell the user what this scanf is for right so i will use printf and inside printf i will write enter number of elements right okay so that we have completed now we have the number of elements right so now we have to take the value of num from the user for that i can do scanf right 
and the the this thing should be uh, percentage F because it is a float and then ampersand sign and uh, num right perfect right but then I have to do it n number of times right it I cannot do it once I have to do it multiple times so I uh, obviously I can do this right but how many times to uh, repeat this I don't know it depends completely on the user if the user enters 10 then this has to be repeated 10 times right so this is where for loop is going to come into picture right so I can just remove this temporarily and start with a for loop right so I will start with a for loop and I know my I should start from okay I will start my I from one okay that is my initial but currently I am not having an I variable declared so I will come over here and declare the variable I then after coming over here I will start uh, initializing the I I value is one okay it starts from one and it it should go up till the number of elements that is required right so I can write I should be less than equal to elements right so if the user enters five then this will uh, this for loop will run for one two three four and five because of this equal to sign this will run from one to five okay so if i would have put this as less than sign only okay so this would run from one to four only right right but since i have to run the uh, this elements uh, this for loop uh, the num exactly the number of uh, times the user wants it so i will put it as this right okay so once that is done i can go for i can increment the value right now some students uh, what they do is they always like to start from i equal to zero okay now if you you are uh, that type of a student then what you can do is you can start from zero and go up till four right so zero to four is again five elements so this loop will run five times but the index uh, sorry the counter variable will be from 0 to 4 okay so it's completely up to you I like it from 1 to 5 rather than 0 to 4 okay so let's begin so once we have this then we can paste the scanf that we wrote uh, before right so uh, this is going to uh, get the num value from the user and just for uh, letting the user know what they are going to enter we can just write enter number and uh, we can give here percentage d and and here we can just say uh, comma i okay so what happens is in the first iteration when i is equal to 1 it will say enter number instead of person d the value of i will be inserted right so this will become enter number one okay so in the second iteration it will say enter number two like that okay just to show you a demo i will just try to run this program and it is asking for elements let's say i enter seven elements so it will say enter number one then two then three then four then five then six and the last one seven okay perfect so our program is uh, working properly but the problem is i i have to do the addition as soon as i get the number data right otherwise what happens is in the next loop this value gets replaced by the new value so to find uh, to find out a solution for that i can simply do after as soon as i get num value i can just do sum is equal to sum plus num okay so now what this does is at at the first iteration right at the first iteration i is equal to one okay so this will do uh, enter number one and let's say you enter the number as five 
right so what happens is this equation will be executed here the value of sum sum here is 0 right so 0 plus the number that you entered that is 5 so 0 plus 5 becomes uh, 5 and that will be stored in sum so now the value of sum will be updated to 5 in the next loop when i is equal to 2 you will enter enter number 2 so you will enter let's say 10 so now when it, the number entered is 10 it will come over here the previous value of sum is 5 and right now you have entered 10 so 5 plus 10 gives you 15 so now the new updated value of sum is 15 okay so this thing keeps on going right and at the end here you will get the value of so at the end of uh, the for loop you will find the value of sum okay so sum is equal to percentage f and you can just print the value okay so i will just run it let's say the user enters four elements and three four two three and you can see the result sum is equal to 12 perfect okay so now the next task is we have got the sum value next task is to find the average value right so to find the average we just we know uh, we all know the formula it is sum divide by the number of elements right and we have already stored the number of elements in this variable right so we will just divide it by that and we will get the average right so we can just again use this over here and print the average okay and this will be average and just so that it prints on a new line after the sum i will just uh, put a new line so that average comes on a new line okay just print uh, run it again uh, five elements you can see 19 is the uh, sum and average is 3.8 perfect okay so this is how you use for loops to find the sum and average i hope you have understood see you in the next task